Hello everyone and welcome to ACAD Guild. In this video, we'll see some advanced VLOOKUP function here related to three different tables. In the previous few videos, we have seen basic VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, LOOKUP, MATCH and INDEX functions. But now this is some advanced VLOOKUP where I want to get the data from three different tables combined into one table. Okay, what I'm trying to say, let us see here. I have a table here that's a transaction table every day sales are done in the company there's a transaction date how many number of pipes are sold what was the discount given what is the type of pipe given and what is the size so i have to fill the price from some table here that's a transaction happening some details are given i have to find out the price now there are three different tables if i scroll on the right hand side these are the three different tables these are tables in the sense the data this data belongs to one UPVC pipe. Okay, if you see, that's an unplastic size PVC pipe. So the shortcut is given as UPVC, okay, which is used for cold water. The rate for this UPVC pipes are different. If you buy a size of two inches, you'll get as 22.95. That's a dollar price. If you see eight size, eight inch, if you buy, you'll get, you have to pay how much? 130.8 if you buy some other type of pipe that is ppvc okay so the rates are different the size would be different okay so if you see here in the first uh, upvc you get only how many types six different types of sizes one inch two inch three five six and eight but if you buy ppvc you can get this seven different types of sizes one two four six seven eight and ten Carefully observe 10 is not present in this column, but in this table you have 10 inch. If you buy some third type of pipe that is CPVC, chlorinated PVC pipes for hot water, you have this size and these are the price. Now, if I scroll on the right hand side, have a look here. So these are the different pipes here given. Okay, so if you see UPVC and it is giving us two inches. So what it will do is I have to find out from this UPVC table, two inches and I have to write down as 22.95. This is using VLOOKUP, I can do it. Same way, if you see PPVC 10 inches. So I'll go to the table which has PPVC, that's PPVC, 10 inches is 95.95. So PPVC 10 inches, 95.95. So this is a method we have to use it. Basically, if I don't use VLOOKUP, one by one I have to fill the prices. But imagine how many records I have. I have basically, you see how many? 5,000 records. 5,302 records. 5,301, if I say more specifically, excluding the column heading. So imagine it would be difficult if I don't use a VLOOKUP. So what is the method? So just have a look here. So, but, but before that, just jumping here, these are the names of the table, UPVC, PPVC, CPVC all three types of tables are given here okay and these are the tables so what is the first step i'll give you a shortcut and the easy method select this first table without the column headings go to this name range click here and type upvc upvc enter select this name range and type here as ppvc enter select this without column headings Click in the name box CPVC, enter. Why I'm giving this names? Why not the other names? The reason number one is there's one identifier that is UPVC, give me UPVC price. PPVC, give me PPVC price. So using this value, I can find out the, you know, using this uh, name, I can find out the price. Carefully observe, this value is not the value here. Basically, it's a value, but it is also a name range. If you see, it's also a name range. If I say PPVC, that is a value in the cell, but along with that PPVC, this is also name of the range. You see, if I select this value, I have PPVC. So let's try the VLOOKUP function. It's very simple now, E equal to VLOOKUP. That's my lookup value. That's the size here, comma, and table array. I have three tables. Now, which table should I select? Okay, I should select table, whichever is given here. If UPVC is given, select UPVC table. If PPVC is given, select PPVC table. So I can say this name is the name of the name range. 
okay upvc basically it's a name range so i'll use a function named as indirect so what indirect does is it returns the reference specified by a text string okay this text string is basically referring some name range so open the bracket select this particular cell comma and now in this table all three tables has just two columns and everywhere we want the second column answer so i'll just type as 2 and close the bracket just make it as approximate not the exact match but approximate match enter so you see 22.95 now do not drag down it's a very old method you simply what to do is you can just keep your cursor in the first cell wherever the lookup function is there double click on the small doctor symbol this is known as small doctor symbol this one has big doctor symbol double click on small doctor symbol and the formula would be copied to 5000 records if you see simply double click that's the easiest method to drag the formula down now let us verify ppvc 10 size inches is 95.95 ppvc 10 inches is 95.95 let us verify this one ppvc 7 inches is 7 ppvc for 7 inches is 61.95 PPVC for 7 inches is 61.95 so exactly it works in similar fashion okay it's similar fashion what we were expecting so let us again try to do it I'll type as e equal to VLOOKUP that's my lookup value because lookup value size is present there comma just type as indirect that's the fastest method indirect and this is the uh, this is nothing but a table name close the bracket comma 2 is giving me the column index number and enter so just select the first cell double click and all the places value would be entered here so what was the method we have used first step was selecting the table okay without the column headings and giving the range name range all three tables will give the same name what they are looking for so this name and the table name should be same then only it will work some people might have the column index number table table number like we have the table name some people might have one two three three stands for third table two stands for second table so any query if you have just post down in the comments and you'll be getting a video based on that but right now i hope you have understood how to work on the data when you have three different tables table one table two table three from three tables how do you get the values and put into one transaction table i hope you have understood and that's all for this video hey guys if you like the video please support us by clicking on the like button and subscribe the channel for further new upcoming videos on excel thank you a cat killed average is dead